Welcome to the journey of a lifetime. Four UNE students will leave their families and comfortable lives behind to explore and become enriched in the beautiful culture of Morocco. For four months, these students will live in small dorm campus, but will be exposed to a new culture of the Arab world. These students hope to gain insight and perspective in this new environment, as well as create long-lasting friendships with Muslims all over Morocco. So far, I've loved every city that I've traveled to in Morocco. Having this ability to see so many different countries without paying extra money is definitely a plus. I also love just having time to explore Tangier. I'm happy I get the campus feel while being able to study abroad. I've always been a homegrown person, so this feels very comfortable to me. I think the most rewarding thing about living in Morocco is the fact that we get to become fully enriched in a culture that we only have perceived thoughts about, we don't actually know. Uh, just being able to travel to all these places like Chef Shawan, Tetuan, Rabat, and live in Tangier is just absolutely amazing opportunity. The whole experience of coming here to Morocco really freaked me out at first. I had always wanted to study abroad, but I'm such a homebody that I never wanted to leave. And it scared me so much at first. I just love everyone here so much, like family. And this whole experience traveling all over Morocco, traveling to Europe, just so many things I'm so grateful for. And I'm glad I did it. I've wanted to study abroad ever since I entered high school. It's just always been something I've wanted to do. And I didn't think I was going to be able to get this opportunity because I chose to do an accelerated pre-pharmacy program. So I didn't think there was room for me to have this opportunity. But the fact that UNE offers lab courses that fit perfectly into my schedule is just amazing because I get to experience these life-changing experiences through traveling. Tangier is such a beautiful and unique city. I've always wanted to study abroad. Morocco wasn't my first choice, but it was one of the most unique experiences I've ever had. When first arriving in Tangier, we all noticed certain atmospheric dissimilarities. The hectic driving, the modest dress of the natives, the incredible architecture, the stray animals lining the streets, the ominous hum of prayer in the distance. I could have studied in a more comfortable setting, like Spain, England, or Australia, but I'm so grateful that I chose Morocco. Somewhere along the line, you start calling it home and forget that you're thousands of miles from where you grew up. You get into a routine, and every so often you have to stop and remind yourself you're in an entirely different country. It's pretty incredible. A few of my friends and I participated in what's known as the Fatut Festival in Tangier. So it's a dance festival that takes place downtown, and it was very cool. It wasn't what I was expecting at all. What I thought it was going to be was a flash mob, but it was an arranged thing that everyone knew about. We just came out from the crowd and started this choreographed dance that we had learned throughout one week, and it was so much fun. Visit to Chef Shawin was wonderful. Um, all the host families were so welcoming and very kind, and they were always feeding us some sort of food, whether mint tea and pastries or tagine. We had a walking tour of the Medina, which was wonderful. There was blue everywhere, and there was so much to do, so much to see. And we also hiked Jebel El Musa, and this was my first hiking experience, and it was just beyond incredible. The view when I actually made it to the top was incredible. Beautiful waterfall. I had such a great time exploring the city. I loved all the architecture on the buildings. It was all so intricate and different, especially the color blue that was spread across the city. And when we hiked a smaller mountain to see the panoramic view near the Great Mosque, it was absolutely breathtaking and I enjoyed every minute of it. And it was such a great weekend. If I had to go back anywhere, I would definitely choose Chef Shout. Before I came to Morocco, I heard about Marrakesh's markets um, and how big they are and how you can find everything there. The first day we had a small city tour. We saw the Grand Mosque, 
we also had a quick look at the Medina. The next day, after having an amazing night's sleep, we saw more sights of Marrakesh. First, we went to the Old Grave Center, which held the past kings and people of power. We had dinner um, at a small restaurant, and we had free time to go explore and do whatever we wanted. Many students went out and explored the different balls and clubs. The last day in Marrakesh, we had free time to go explore the Medina. At this point, Marrakesh was nothing like I had expected it to be. When I first <laughs> saw the Medina, there were no vendors, and if there were vendors, they were selling orange juice or olives. I was really hoping there was going to be something different uh, at this Medina than any other. After shopping, we took the bus back to the train. I, for one, was not looking forward to sleeping on the train again. Overall, I was very grateful for seeing the Medina and getting this great experience. Before traveling to the country's capital, Rabat, I had this preconceived idea of what it would be like. At this point, we had already been to many cities, including Tetuan, Chefchaouen, and Asilla, all of which were drastically different from one another. I had been told that Rabat was much more touristy than the other places we'd been, but that it was lovely. Upon arriving in Rabat, my expectations appeared to have been met. I looked out the bus window only to see chaotic streets crowded with people. This is going to be a long weekend. After stopping briefly to check in at the hotel, we began the actual tour of the city. To my surprise, the streets were quite clean and there was little to no trash in sight. The people, although many, were extremely kind and nobody was following you or asking you for money as they often do in Tangier. The rest of the weekend was filled with even more positive experiences. We went to the U.S. Embassy where we learned about several unique jobs available and how easy it can be to travel while doing what you love. Additionally, we visited the Shell of Ruins, Hassan Tower, Royal Mausoleum of Mohammed V, a modern art museum, and even saw the king's incredible palace from outside. On the last day, we went to the Rabat Zoo. As a lover of animals, this was probably the most fun for me. There were monkeys, exotic birds, zebras, crocodiles, hippos, gazelles, lions, tortoises, giraffes, and my favorite, warthogs. Rabat definitely exceeded my expectations and it was truly my favorite place we visited in Morocco. Going to the Sahara Desert was an experience that I will never forget. The whole time we were journeying together throughout that weekend, I kept asking myself if I was actually here experiencing it because I've just made so many friends here and I feel like now I've been traveling this different part of the world with my family. After taking an overnight train to Marrakesh and driving a whole lot through the Atlas Mountains, we arrived at the desert. We had some Berber pizza and set off on our camels for an hour-long sunset trek. We stopped halfway through to climb a sand dune to watch the sunset from there, and it was just unbelievable. After we played around on the dunes and watched the sunset from there, we caught back on our camels and continued on as it got darker and darker. When the moon came out, though, it was like a massive spotlight in the sky, and I felt like I had night vision. We spotted a few constellations, but not as many as you would think because of how bright the moon was. And when we finally got to the camp, we had tea around a campfire, put our things in our tents, and had dinner. After that, we had a huge dance party with a DJ and strobe lights everywhere, so that was a lot of fun. Now, even though I was having so much fun up until this point in the trip, nothing could have topped what we did that night. At around 11 p.m., a few of us wanted to go explore and climb a sand dune behind our camp. Now, we had seen sand dunes the whole way along, but this one was a sand mountain. It was bigger than all the rest. Long story short, out of myself and three others that started this climb, only two of us made it to the top. After taking many breaks to rest our legs and waiting for other climbers to catch up to us, nine of us in total made it to the top of that sand mountain. I wish I had videos and pictures from up at the top, but that's where these memories will come in, I guess, because I will never forget sitting on top of that sand dune. We sat up there until 2 a.m. talking and listening to music on a speaker and just looking at the stars. That will be my favorite moment when I think back on all these trips we've gone on while here in Morocco. We finally ended up either running or sliding down the mountain, and after just about three hours of sleep, we got up, got changed, and got on our camels right away to go back through the desert, stopping to see the beautiful sunrise. After a few of us almost falling off of our camels, an unexpected nosebleed, one of our own making impressive seagull noises, a flat tire, and a few passed out travelers sleeping on the floors of the buses, we made it back to Marrakesh to take the night train home to Tangier. We talked all about roses and thorns from our adventures that weekend, the best and the worst moments. 
My Rose was sitting on top of that sand mountain, listening to music, looking at the stars with a really great group of friends. And my thorn was how much I didn't want to leave. I am so happy I got to spend four months here in Tangier. I was in fact skeptical at first coming here, but I've come to fall in love with the city. I can just easily walk to wherever I need to go and I can stumble upon something new, whether a new shop, a cafe, etc. I've met great people here who will forever become or hold an important place in my life and I'm very grateful for this opportunity. Just being able to walk into Eric Kaiser with my friends and work on homework is such a great experience. At first, I was skeptical um, about coming here because I wasn't sure what it was going to be like and how people were going to act and stuff like that. Um, but now being here and living here, it's completely different than I thought. It's really nice experience. When I first got here to Tangier, I was very skeptical about it because it wasn't at all what I thought it was going to be. It was much more industrial looking. I had the image in my mind that it was going to be more tropical. I don't know, but I've come to fall in love with it over these four months and it's just going to be like a second home to me and I know I'll miss it. I love how everything is in walking distance and how nice and welcoming everyone in Morocco is. What are some of your favorite foods here? What are some of my favorite foods? That's a great question. Caprice salad, uh, gelato, and Moroccan mint tea. I'd probably have to say meatball tagine. I definitely like that. The pancakes with the holes. And gelato. Rice, I've always loved rice. And the noodles with the cinnamon and sugar. That is my favorite. The stuffed peppers and noodles with cinnamon and sugar. What's your favorite place in Tangier? One of my favorite places in Tangier would definitely be the Medina, because I always love to shop. And I also enjoyed going the Hamam. I love the beach plaza with all of the wonderful restaurants. My favorite place in Tangier would have to be both Eric Kaiser and walking on the beach behind Cafe Panorama. My favorite place is the Medina. What are you going to miss most about Morocco? I'm definitely going to miss the people so much here. I've made so many Moroccan friends and also the professors have been such a great resource, not only for academics, but also for just places to go in Tangier and things to see and it's been wonderful. The laid back, no rush mentality of the Moroccan people. I'm going to miss how nice people are and how welcoming they are. Being able to travel to all these different places so easily and all the new friends I've made here. Um, we're all going back to the same school, but it won't be the same, so I'll definitely miss everybody.